Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So what we have, we have two matrix spaces x1 d1 and x2 d2. So the given information is both matrix spaces are complete. Complete means what? Every Cauchy sequence is convergent. With the help of this information, we have to prove that this product matrix space x1 cross x2 that is also complete with this matrix d dash. It is defined in this way. It is defined with the help of d1, d2 and two real numbers alpha and beta, real constants getting both are positive real numbers. And with the help of this definition, we have to prove that that product matrix space x1 cross x2 is also complete. Okay. Uh, so let us recall when we say the matrix space is complete, when every Cauchy sequence is convergent, then we say the matrix space is complete. That means we should start with any arbitrary Cauchy sequence of this matrix space and we have to prove that it is convergent. So let us start to do late. I will call it as Xn. But see, this is a product matrix space. So it will have two components. So I'm calling it as N and Bn. So this is a sequence in this product matrix space. So that's why it, it is defined in this way. N is an element of X1 and Bn is an element of X2. So B any Cauchy sequence in x1 cross x2 comma d. So I have taken any arbitrary Cauchy sequence. What is our target to prove? We have to prove that it is convergent. Obviously, I am going to use epsilon definition. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. So I can use this information that Xn is Cauchy sequence, right? We have Xn is Cauchy. So we can use the definition of Cauchy. What is definition of Cauchy for given epsilon greater than zero? But see epsilon we have already taken. So I will mention for above epsilon greater than zero. Therefore, for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists a fixed natural number n such that such that d dash, okay, d dash, here d dash I should write with matrix d dash, d dash xn comma xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. So here I simply use the definition of Cauchy sequence and I got this one. But see, here I'm going to do a small adjustment. Okay. So what will I do instead of epsilon, I will write alpha epsilon doesn't matter. Actually, alpha is positive. They have mentioned alpha is positive. Epsilon is also positive. So product of two positive numbers is again positive. So this is positive real number. No need to worry. And yes, th this is alpha epsilon I have written. So therefore, d dash xn what is my xn so xn is n comma bn let me write n comma bn comma xm what is my xm if xn is n comma bn xm will be obviously am comma bm less than alpha epsilon i should carry this condition everywhere but see there is no more space to write so that's why at the end i will continue this condition okay uh, after that after that, what we need to do, we have to use the definition of d dash. This is definition of d dash. Let us use what I should write alpha d1. d1 is operating on elements of x1. That means elements of first component. So here in first components, we have elements n and m. So I should write d1 a n comma m plus beta and see d2 is there and d2 is operating on elements of second component x2 y2 x2 y2 so here second components are bn and bm so i should write here bn comma bm right and less than alpha epsilon see alpha is positive beta is positive d1 is a distance cannot be negative d2 is also distance cannot be negative so that means what i want to say all terms are non-negative, so their addition, their multiplication will be definitely non-negative. Get it? And we are saying their sum is less than epsilon, alpha epsilon. 
that means each of them is less than alpha epsilon so therefore alpha d1 n comma m less than alpha epsilon similarly the second part is also less than alpha epsilon but sir the second part is not required so that's why i will continue with this one alpha is positive real number so we can cancel alpha from both sides so d1 n comma m less than epsilon getting i will continue this condition now actually we supposed to write at each step but see there is no space so that's why i'm writing in this way so the this is our definition of cauchy sequence right this is definition of cauchy sequence so therefore i can declare therefore a n is cauchy is cauchy in x1 d1 okay since d1 we have and these are elements of x1 so a n is cauchy in x1 d1 similarly we can prove that b n is also cauchy getting similarly we can prove just instead of alpha epsilon we should start with beta epsilon and we can continue in the same way uh, see this time we had taken this first term is less than alpha epsilon but when you talk about beta epsilon you should consider the second term and it will be less than beta epsilon beta beta will get cancelled and you will get the required inequality but see instead of doing all these things simply in a single sentence i will mention similarly okay similarly similarly we can prove that we can prove that that beta uh, sorry bn is cauchy in x2 d2 okay so see here we proved if xn is a cauchy sequence in product matrix space then each component is also cauchy in x1 d1 and x2 d2 respectively see but the given information is what is given information let me highlight that part these are two complete matrix spaces these are two complete matrix spaces that means x1 d1 is complete x2 d2 is also complete complete means what every cauchy sequence is convergent so therefore these cauchy sequences are also convergent okay so let me mention that thing just make a screenshot of it then i will go further okay so see uh, but x1 d1 and x2 d2 are complete matrix spaces so let me mention therefore these two sequences are convergent so therefore a n is convergent in x1 d1 and so i am assuming n converges to a say and b n is convergent in x2 d2 and i am assuming that b n converges to some point b say so these are convergent sequence that means obviously they will converge to some point so i am calling i am considering them as a and b okay so in this way we started with a cauchy sequence right xn n comma bn and the n converges to a and bn converges to b so let me define one point let x is nothing but a comma b so this is element of x1 comma x2 this is element of product matrix space so the first uh, element a i have taken from here and the second component b i have taken from here and i have formed a new element of product matrix space which is x so now my final target is to prove that xn converges to x okay in a product matrix space just make a screenshot of it then i will go further okay so let us use this information okay so uh, we have we have n converges to a so by definition of convergent sequence we can write for given epsilon epsilon we have already assumed at the beginning of this solution so let me use the same therefore for above epsilon greater than 0 there exist one fixed natural number n such that d1 of n comma a less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n right here i will do a small adjustment that is instead of epsilon i will write epsilon by 2 alpha this is a star i will say okay second information is b n converges to b so will you tell me what can we write in the same way we can write no we have huh, tell me b n converges to b so therefore okay try to say with me so yes easily you can understand so therefore what i should write for above epsilon right 
above epsilon. Epsilon we have already taken. There exists natural number. But see, n already we have taken. So let me call it as n1. This is n2. Such that d2 of bn, comma b less than epsilon. Can you guess what I should write instead of epsilon? Again, we need to do an adjustment here. Get it? Uh, what do you think? Yes, I will take epsilon by 2 beta. Here we have taken 2 alpha. So I, obviously, I should write 2 beta. So now the problem is this. The first, see, the star is true for n1. Write all natural numbers greater than or equal to n1. Double star is true for n2. All natural numbers greater than or equal to n2. What will I do? I will choose the maximum of n1 and n2. Then both of them will be true simultaneously. So let, let me call it as n0. So th this is maximum of several times we do this type of thing. So I'm sure you have, you are familiar with this. So therefore star and double star will be true. Let me write will be true for this and not that set. Okay. Just a few steps are remaining. Just make a screenshot of it. Then I will go further. So let us recall our target again. Our target is to prove that X in is convergent and we are trying to prove it converges to X. So let us consider, consider D1. Okay. So Xn is a sequence in product matrix space. So that's why D star, uh, sorry, D dash, I need to consider D dash xn comma x our target is to prove this is less than epsilon then we can say xn converges to x so let us start to work on it this is equal to d dash xn means a n comma b n right and x what is my x my x is a comma b so this is definition of d dash they have already given to us let us use alpha alpha d1 d1 is operating on elements of first component so the first components are a and n so i should write a n comma a plus beta d2 d2 is operating on elements of second component Compo elements are b n comma b but see in star we have already got this is strictly less than this is strictly less than n comma a right less than epsilon by 2 alpha plus beta into double star says its value is strictly less than epsilon by 2 beta this is true for all n greater than or equal to n naught from star and double star right okay so what will happen this alpha alpha will get cancelled epsilon by 2 here beta beta will get cancelled epsilon by 2 so this is epsilon agree so therefore we started with what d dash of xn comma x we got it is strictly less than epsilon with the condition n greater than or equal to n naught right but see this is definition of convergent sequence so that's why we can say xn converges to x so let me write the conclusion on that side just to make a screenshot of it so therefore I have mentioned there getting that xn is convergent in x1 cross x2 comma d dash. Okay. So we started with any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we proved that it is convergent. It means every Cauchy sequence is convergent in that product matrix space. Let me mention therefore every Cauchy sequence is convergent in x1 cross x2 comma d dash and see this is definition of complete matrix space so that's why we can declare x1 cross x2 comma d dash is complete so in this way we proved that this matrix space is complete right okay so uh, make a screenshot of it the solution is over here okay we will meet in next video with new example thank you see you